Brock. She overcommits forward. Hands hit the dirt. Perfect. Stretch the leg out and catch that other hip. Um, we're going to start out with the flow though. So we're going to spend the first 15, or I guess the first 12 minutes, just through the, the whole flow. All right, so underhook, frame, go ahead. on her knees here. I'm going to be playing either my butterfly or my half. We'll play from the half today. And she's going to be playing in tight right here. Okay. One of the like classic moves in jiu-jitsu is the <coughs> arm drag, right? So we're going to play for the arm drag. So we won't worry about the setup too much. I just want you to think about it like this. Sit through, tighten it up and hold the back here. And now we're going to do a big kick up and out the backside. Take the hip. All right, so use that hook right up here in the back of the tricep and then a big momentum to sit yourself up. So the leg drops an inch and my chest rises an inch. We move together. That's all. But Carlo, <coughs> trying to, we call that getting out of bed in the morning. That's how you get out of bed. <coughs> no, a lot of momentum. All right, now Lindsay, she's smarter than that. She's not gonna just stay there and let me drag. As I drag, she's gonna pop up on this foot. So, so she can react a couple of different ways. If I sit up, she can hide her back from me by just rolling to her back right there. All right, and then she could maybe think about a redrag right here, redrag, turn the corner, okay, go back. So that's one reaction. But that's a really large and technical reaction. And it's not the one that most people give against an arm drag. The one that most people give is the first one you gave where you just pop that foot up. Perfect. Now I can't get to the back anymore. There's a barrier here between us. But it'd be real easy for me to just slip right into the deep half. Got it. So once we're under in the deep half now, <clears throat> we're going to... I want you to try to keep this foot on the floor. As the top person, if you can keep your foot on the floor here, then you're going to be able to do... Um, like more powerful movements. You're gonna be able to keep your base a lot better. And really to tell you the truth, you'll be able to just stand up and leave if you want to. You stand up. I can't stop you from standing up if your foot's on the floor. Okay, that doesn't mean you're getting out of there. But if, uh, did y'all watch this UFC Saturday night? Um, on the prelims, uh, Rogerio Nogueira fought Ryan Spann. And Nogueira went down and got into the deep half for about that long. And he did it this way. And Ryan Spann put his foot on the floor, and he stood up and he left. And then he punched Nagara in his face and killed him. Yep. Nagara is now dead. I don't know if y'all picked up on that or not. It, it was they didn't show it on I don't ESPN. Think that's true. <laughs> so if she keeps her foot on the floor, that's a problem, All right? The way that I showed you guys the two base sweeps earlier, we didn't think we didn't play the deep half to do them. We just got under there and we move, move, move. Right, because it was easy because they're letting us, oh, they're either gonna fall or they're gonna fall. But it, if they can get their foot to the floor, neither one of those sweeps is going your way. And they start doing this stuff, now they can start putting their knee on the ground. And now you've got to know how to dig this thing out and to, and to stay with the deep path, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our feet underneath here to keep her, put your foot back on the ground, stand up. Can you stand up? So either foot is appropriate, right? I can lift with this one. I can lift with this one. I can extend with this one. I can extend with this one. But this is the configuration you're gonna have your legs in if you want the waiter sweep. This is the configuration you're gonna have if you wanna lever them and slip into the legs. And then this one is the one that you're gonna have if you wanna start trying to slip to the back. Here. 
So top partner, your job is, we're gonna arm drag, we're gonna get into the position, and your job is to keep position, right? You can pass, uh, sub, whatever you wanna do. I have to just keep her foot off the floor and maintain position, that's my goal. Sweep if you want, that's fine, but I really would rather you spend extra time in here almost losing the position and then getting back in. And then she almost gets swept and then we get right back to the game. So let's play a little bit here. Go. So just get in there and play, play that position. Spend nine minutes. Ready? One, two, three. You, yeah, just lock, leave your hand here for a second so they can see. Counter pressure his hip here. So down here, up here. Feel what I'm talking about? Yeah. Here at the knee is good, but this is for a specific sweep. Or this is for a specific purpose. It's like when he's starting to turn his knee to the ground, that's what I use that. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I use that for that. Start turning your knee to the ground now though. See, it's not, you feel the difference? Right. So when you start to settle into the position and I start to leg lift, this is the counter pressure here now. You got, you see what I'm saying? Right. Here or here. Uh, move. Got it? One, two, three. All right, so once we're into our position here and the ankle goes under, this hand is now doing counter pressure, right? Here. If you need to move, this foot goes to the floor so you can move yourself around. And that really gives me a lot more um, mobility just by having that foot on the floor. It gives me mobility this way, I should say. If I want mobility side to side, I take my foot off the floor. You see that? But if I need to move my hip in or out, I need my foot on the floor. If I need to bridge, put my foot on the floor, all right? <clears throat> The other thing I want to show you guys is now I'm going to start to rock her. I'm moving her back and forth, checking her. Where is she going to fall? And I catch her hands hitting the ground. Boom. So that's where we would normally just pop out the back, right? But because I have this foot underneath now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to lift her. I'm going to stretch her out right there. Hold that hip and now drag her back into this spot. She's gonna to continue to try to run, and we're gonna stay on that crab ride right there. Okay, so here and here. She's gonna grab me one time, like try to roll across your shoulders. Keep going. <laughs> me too. Me too. That kind of was like a me too, because when she put her butt in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Luckily I'm bought and paid for. You can put your head there. <laughs> That's the whole point. You picked this whole move out. <laughs> so I'm in position, counter press. That's important, right? It's not here, right? This is this is this has a utility. It's a good way to play this position, but not now. That's the difference. It's not muscle. I'm not muscling her down. I'm closing my elbow. And now the play is going to be rock. She overcommits forward, hands hit the dirt. Perfect. Stretch the leg out and catch that other hip. She's gonna run, probably gonna hit her back to the mat right there. And you can slide in, start windshield wiping, taking the back, or if you get out to here and she tries to run, or not, I mean roll, sorry. She tries to roll, and we're gonna roll with her and stay on the hips. Got it? So, uh, Ben, come check that out. So I made it into my spot here. I'm here. I check one, check two. Look, the play is not to put you over here. That actually doesn't open the space for my head. I move you down here, and my head comes right out, and there's the other hip. See, I keep his foot off the floor with that. As soon as his foot touches the floor again, or his knee, that's my game. Yeah. I'm in on him now. Watch the Kimura here. I see a difference between the two things you just said. You said not here, but here. 
It's invisible, man. Yeah, it, it, no, I mean, it, it kind of is. Like, it's, it's not the kind of thing that you really would pick up on if I wasn't saying something about it, right? So, a little rock. Yeah, a little rock. Can I get you committed? Now you're coming this way. Perfect. Not this. You feel there's no space. Yeah. Not this. There's no space. It's yeah, yeah, here. I feel it. Move your foot. Can't. Move your knee down. Perfect. No, no, put your knee on the ground. Perfect. Kind of move the leg back on the other side. Super easy. Got it? One, two, three. So I just want to say thank you to everybody for picking this up. I hope it's helpful to you. I do want to say this. This is not a system. It's not a formula. Do this move, do this move. You're not going to watch these videos and see Brandon's favorite side control escapes or how to stop getting crushed every time with this one weird trick. It's not going to be anything like that. What it is is just four principles, four ideas that when employed at the right time and in the right combinations and with the right feeling is going to help you to not get smashed and in fact to easily recover your guard.